All right, welcome, welcome. So Rebecca and I are in the house. We're talking everything <laughs> oily crystal, all the do's and sadly, a lot of the don'ts. <laughs> so as you're gonna find out. So um, yeah, this is, this is awesome. I love teaching this with Rebecca because we come at it together with the same goal and give you all the resources to do this safely. So let me, let me just kind of briefly explain who I am. And then Rebecca, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself and then we're gonna dive right into it. So I have been an attorney for 20, almost 28 years. I feel very old when I say that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is just crazy. So I have spent my career uh, entirely in the, in the uh, criminal prosecution field. And while I haven't been in the courtroom for a long time, I still teach uh, criminal justice professionals because my specialty is animal abuse and family violence and how they link together. So now y'all know why I play with oils and crystals all day, because that is not a fun topic to, to talk about. So um, I, I do a lot of writing. I've written a lot of books, a lot of legal publications. I do a lot of public speaking. And as a result of that, um, I started a nonprofit off of a crazy idea that I had 20 years ago. Um, and the nonprofit is called Sheltering Animals and Families Together. And I help domestic violence shelters to create on site pet housing programs. Because when someone needs to leave an abusive home, we would never ask them to leave their children behind and they should never leave their pets behind. So that is a program um, that I run in addition to my health and wellness business called Manifested Harmony, where I have seven or eight, I really should count them, seven or eight certifications um, from being a certified uh, health coach. I'm certified in several energy healing uh, techniques where I'm a master teacher. I'm an advanced crystal master teacher, which is going to be very relevant to this class. And I have been using um, Young Living Oils, and I'm a brand partner, and I've been doing that for nine and a half years. Um, so that is just a little bit about me. And at some point, my cat, Rudy, who you see on the screen, will hopefully show up on the back of my chair. Oh, he's actually sitting over here. So maybe he'll make it onto the back of the chair. All right. So Rebecca, tell us about you. So hi, everybody. My name's Rebecca Hesey. I am not anybody with any of those certifications. I am basically an essential oil lover, just like most of you guys. I got into essential oils only six years ago. Um, before that, my only exposure was using tea tree and a cloth diaper pail. And at um, a woman's retreat, we made lavender eye masks and the leader said, this oil is really strong. So just use one or two drops. And I thought if one or two is good, 10 or 12 might be better. And that was my first exposure to like the powerful scent of lavender. Um, but over the years, I've learned a lot more about oils and I'm always one who wants to learn and um, soak in and absorb, which is how I actually ended up getting connected with Allie, which I will go into a little bit later. But just for you to know now, I am the owner of Silver Orange Boutique, which special, specializes in crystal roller models, as well as lots of other things. But that's my forte and what I really love. And um, my passionate learning is um, learning about crystals and how those work and affect us. So I'll give it back to Allie and I will um, be back with you guys to do a little presentation in a bit after you learn all this wonderful science. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Let, we're just going to dive in. I'm a red personality and we're just going to go for it. So I want to talk about why, why we are blending crystals and essential oils to get together. So I've actually been doing this for well over a decade. And then all of a sudden, like two years ago, it became super popular, which I love. I love that. But I started seeing some concerning practices and it's like, uh, Allie, you just, you just got to write a little book that you can get in the hands of people so that they know how to do this safely, because there is a way to do this dangerously. So, but let me back it up and talk about um, how crystals and essential oils are actually natural partners. And, you know, why, why would you want to do this? Well, 
first of all, it's fun. So Rebecca and I have had these conversations about how fun it is and how beautiful these bottles are. <clears throat> but in addition to that, it is another wellness tool for your toolkit. Because when you are blending the vibrational frequencies of essential oils and crystals together, they enhance the benefits of each other. You're creating a vibrational frequency wellness tool. And that is what I specialize in my business. I specialize in vibrational frequency wellness. And how, how do you get to a certain level of vibrational frequency so that you can feel good? And so crystals like essential oils provide a myriad of benefits at the physical body layer for your emotional layer, for the mental layer where you have all of your thoughts and beliefs. You know, how, how many people have screwed up beliefs and screwed up thoughts that stop you dead in your tracks from doing what you want in life? Yeah, you can actually use an oily crystal blend to help with that and, and so on. So, you know, th this is a you know, another vibrational tool that you can use to really feel good. And, you know, in, in the oily crystal book, I, I go over frequencies, but the short story is that everything in existence is made of vibrational energy. Absolutely everything. You are made of vibrational energy. You have a frequency to you. When it's a high frequency, you feel good. When it's a low frequency, you don't feel so good. The computer that you're on or the phone that you're on is made up of a vibrational frequency. This air right here, it's not empty space. It's all frequency. And you know it when you walk into a room and you see maybe some people talking and you instantly feel whether it's a good positive conversation or whether it's a negative conversation. I mean, how many times have, have we gone into a space and it's like, uh, nope. And you turn around and you walk out because this out here, this air has frequency in it. So in the oily crystal book and, and in the crystal classes that I teach, cause I'm an advanced crystal master teacher. I was trained in the science of crystals. I come at crystals from a very different perspective. I can go full on woo woo. <laughs> I really can, but I like helping people understand how crystals really work, because then it makes the woo-woo part understandable. It absolutely does. Um, so, and I'm going to share at the end my crystal classes that are coming up, because if you really want to learn more, you want to get into one of these classes. But in the book and in my classes, I actually go over three physics principles that relate to how crystals work with our body, like work with us at a cellular level. And so let me go, let me go through one real quick. Um, the principle of resonance tells us that when you have, you have two different vibrations and <clears throat> they are, you know, they're of the same frequency, but one is really strong and one is really weak. Strong does not mean better. Weak does not mean negative. It's just weak is soft. Strong is loud. And when you have a larger vibration present, the lower vibration under the principle of resonance is going to sink to the higher one, to the stronger one. So if you've ever listened to tuning forks or watched anything, go onto YouTube and type in tuning forks. It's shocking and amazing how they work. But if you have two tuning forks and, and they're at the same note, like note C, you take one and you smack it really hard. The other one that you didn't smack will start vibrating and it'll rise up. So this actually comes into play with crystals. Absolutely comes into play. Um, and so when we're looking at crystals and essential oils, our body will start to synchronize with them, especially with crystals. And they do it through the principle of resonance and through some other physics principles. And so let me explain very briefly how, because it literally takes me four hours in my, in my basic crystal healing class to explain this. Here's the short story. So crystals have a fixed repeating crystalline structure. 
which is what makes them different from a rock, a stone, and a mineral. And I hear those words being thrown around interchangeably when it comes to crystals. Crystals have a very precise definition in my world. A stone and a rock is what you find out in your yard, not a crystal. So crystals have this crystalline structure and they are completely made up of minerals. And because we know that, that everything that's in existence has a vibrational frequency, so do crystals. And for crystals, it is fixed. It is unchanging. It's why they are millions and billions of years old. They don't suffer from entropy. We suffer from entropy. Animals suffer from entropy, which is destruction. Plants suffer from entropy. Crystals do not. They are literally set in stone, <laughs> literally. And because they have the lowest state of entropy, which is decaying and destruction, I want you to think back to that principle of resonance where you have a strong vibration and a weak vibration. In this scenario between humans and crystals, who is the strong vibration? It's the crystals. Because what do humans do all day long? We're up and we're down, we're up and we're down. We wake up and maybe we feel good until we get out of bed and somebody is having a bad day. And then we leave the house and we feel great and then we get stuck in traffic. And then we go to the office and we have our, our favorite latte in our hands and then we see our boss. <laughs> and, then, and then we get to our office and then we have a bad email. And we literally go up and down, up and down, up and down all day. Crystals don't. Crystals are solid. They do not change. They do not change. They are indestructible. You can throw it on the floor. You can smash it in all its pieces. You can do whatever you want to it. And when you look at it under a microscope, it has the same crystalline structure. So we will synchronize with crystals, okay? At a cellular level, we will synchronize with the crystals. And so when we come into contact with the crystal, we will start to change. We start to feel better. It's why people will instinctively touch a crystal when they see it because our body is like, oh, I want more of that. I do not want more of this Wi-Fi that you have in your house or this 5G energy. I don't want any more of your, your negative friend, Nancy. Uh-uh, no, shut her down. I don't want any more of that, but I see a pretty crystal and I want to touch it, right? We all do it. We all do it. So, you know, crystals have this energy to them that then resonates with our body and we start to synchronize with it. Now, in the crystal world, there are no standardized frequencies of crystals. So it's not like any of us can say, oh, clear quartz is you know, 500 hertz and amethyst is 200 hertz. No, it's not possible because every single crystal is different. Every single one. There are not two crystals that are the same anywhere on this planet, okay? So there's no standardization of the crystals. And that's about the shortest way I can explain it. It really takes me a long time to explain that. Um, but the photo that you see on the screen is curly in photography that actually shows the energy coming off of crystals. So for anybody that says, oh, you and your cute little crystals, oh, what a bunch of nonsense. Okay, this is why you wanna take my class because I'm gonna teach you how to whip out some physics principles and talk about curly in photography because they've actually measured the frequency coming off of crystals and it's pretty awesome. So crystals are a legit frequency provider a frequent and actually a stabilizer for the frequency in our body because we go through our day and we are very unstable. We're up and down, up and down, up and down and the crystals stabilize us. Now, what about our essential oils? Now, you know, essential oils don't have the solid structure like a crystal. They fluctuate because they're coming from plants. Plants suffer from entropy. The energy goes up and down, up and down, up and down. So, you know, what we know about this principle of resonance is that when an essential oil has a higher frequency than a problem, it can really help to neutralize it and make it better. 
And so, you know, high frequency oils help with emotional energy and low frequency oils help with physical energy. But here's the thing, here's what I wanna say about essential oils and frequency, which is probably gonna sound blasphemous to a lot of you. You know, those charts that go around on social media talking about rose is 320 Hertz and you know, Valor is 47. Yet those were literally one snapshot in time 23 years ago. They're not accurate at all. And not in any regard. They were in that moment when Gary Young used a machine that was not intended to be used for frequency of essential oils, but he found a way to make it work. That was literally a snapshot in time. The frequency of our planet has dramatically changed in 23 years. It gives us an idea of which oils are high frequency and low frequency, but please don't share those graphics because they're not accurate. I would almost say that Rose is probably three times higher than what we think it is. I would say she's getting close to the thousand frequency range just based on what's going on with the earth. But that's, that's a whole nother class in and of itself. But we do have the chart to give us an idea of what the oils do. Because when you look at the frequency of the human body, which, is, which a healthy human body is 7.83 Hertz, which also happens to be the, the base frequency of the earth, when we are synchronized with the earth and what she produces, we feel great. When you go for a walk in the woods, you feel great. When you go to the beach, you feel great. When you put your feet on the ground, you feel great. This is what the crystals and the oils do for us. They are literally giving us what the earth has provided so that we can use them. All right. So that is probably the shortest description I have ever given on, on crystals and how, how they work and even on essential oils. But I want to get to, I want to get to some of the, the juicy part here about how do you actually create an oily crystal blend? How do you actually do it? Well, the first thing is you really need to know two things that other people are not talking about because you don't know what you don't know. And people who are talking about blending oils and crystals don't have the education and the experience and credentials to understand this yet. I hope they learn it at some point. You need to look at the most hardness of the crystal. What is that? So in the gemology world, in the crystal world, every crystal and every gem is given a Mohs hardness number. And it's a rating on a scale of one to 10 with one being super soft, like talc. Talc is actually a stone that you can crumble in your hands like talc powder. And then 10 being a diamond. You can't scratch a diamond no matter how hard you try. When it comes to putting a crystal in liquid, the cutoff is six. Anything below six does not ever go in liquid, whether it's water, carrier oil, or essential oil. Here's why. When you're looking at a crystal, let me see, I'm gonna hold this one up. I have crystals all around me. <laughs> this is a black Tibetan quartz. She's got some stuff on the inside, right? You can kind of see it's black. Okay, now I happen to know what's on the inside, but the way crystals grow, a lot of crystals have, have heavy metals in them, like aluminum, nickel, you know, uh, strontium, copper, lot, lots of different heavy metals. And what if a little piece of aluminum or lead or arsenic got inside this crystal and I can't see it because most crystals you can't see through, but it's so soft, I put it in a liquid and it starts to leach out. That's what you don't want because you, unless you are skilled at determining every single mineral that's in a crystal and you've gone to school to do that and you know how to do it, don't put it in water because you don't know what's on the inside that could leach out. If there is a little pocket of lead, you do not want to be making a roller bottle that's full of lead and smearing it all over your body, right? Okay. Most hardness six and higher is what is safe to put in liquid. Below that, absolutely not. The second thing that is not being addressed, and this drives me a little bananas because it's not for lack of trying and not for lack of, of putting the education out there, 
but we can only use crystals that are not toxic. Okay, in the Oily Crystal book, I give you an outline of crystals that have toxic minerals in them. It doesn't matter what the most hardness is, they do not go in liquid. They don't, especially those with aluminum and lead and asbestos and strontium and beryllium. I mean, there's, there's all these minerals that come from the earth. Just because something comes from the earth doesn't mean it's beneficial. Okay, so you really got to look at that and check the toxicity. So those are the two big things. And then of course, when you're creating an oily crystal blend, you wanna be intentional. You know, if you wanna create a grounding blend, you're gonna select a crystal that is grounding and calming and an oil that is calming and grounding. And if you wanna create a very high vibrational energizing blend, you're gonna pick a crystal and an oil that is going to give that to you, okay? All right, so, um, in a second, I'm going to turn it over to Rebecca because, <laughs> and, and this I see everywhere. And, and, and sadly, I, I did see it <clears throat> at convention this year at Aroma Sharing and um, the sheer number of crystal and crystal roller bottle sellers that were around the convention center. Oh my gosh, it's like they surrounded us. I was all excited about the crystals, but just because a company sells a product doesn't mean it's safe and it doesn't mean that they know what they're talking about. And this is what I find because this is um, a flyer that I put, picked up from a very, very popular roller bottle company. I don't name names, that's not my style. I like to show this because they are very well-intentioned but they are giving faulty and dangerous advice. And again, this year I tried to educate and there wasn't a whole lot of receptivity to it. So on this chart, you see a bunch of N's in the left column. If the N is in red, it means the crystal is toxic and should never go in a roller bottle to smear all over your body. And I love some of these crystals. Labradorite is one of my favorites. I love moonstone. You know, I love um, sodalite, tourmaline, aquamarine, mm -mm. big no-nos. They have toxic heavy metals in them. So they do not go in a roller bottle to rub on your body. If you see the end that is blue, that means the most hardness is too low. The crystal is too soft to go in a liquid. The crystal can break apart and then you never know what's on the inside of it because the way crystals grow, lots of minerals come in and you may see something on the outside, but there's a whole different story happening on the inside. So when you look at this chart, 75% of what they're offering is not safe. I was even given a free crystal roller bottle when I was there and it had lapis lazuli in it. And it's like, nope, it's toxic. Absolutely not. So this is where you need, to, you need to know who you're buying from, that they understand crystals. Just because this is a popular topic doesn't mean that, that the sellers are educated in this. And this is where I'm going to turn it over to Rebecca, because Rebecca knows what she's talking about. So, all right, Rebecca, let me stop my share. Oops. Hold on, what did I do? Why can't I get it to stop sharing? I can try starting sharing my screen and see if it takes over. There we go. All right, oh, Okay. give it a try. Oh. Um, do I need to click a button? Yeah, I think it says host disabled participant screen sharing. Okay. Maybe that will. Hold on, everybody. Every time I do this, Zoom changes the rules on me. Yeah. And <laughs> yes. So here we go. I just made you host and you are good to go. Oh, I'm the host now. Let's see here. Okay. Let me get my. Sorry, I have too many things. <laughs> Where did my. Shoot. So while you're doing right. that, I see, I see in the questions about, is there a chart that I can share with everybody about what's toxic and what's not? 
that's in the early crystal book. It's all in there for you. It's all self-contained in one super easy to read book. Okay, yeah. take it away. Okay, can you see my screen? I'm... No. Oh, okay, so I have it up here. This is always a hassle, isn't it? Did you click the share screen at the bottom of the screen? Yep, but well, let me give it another try here. Okay. Go back in here. Sorry, ladies, thanks for your patience. Share screen. Hmm. Is it still not working? Um, let's see, is that, have you got it now? Yep, we got it. Okay, let me get this opened all the way for you. Funny how the Zoom call <laughs> covers up the screen sharing on here. Oh my goodness. All right, are we good now? <laughs> Hopefully you guys can all see that, yeah? Okay, so thank you, Allie, for that. Um, I thought that was a wonderful introduction on um, how the crystals and the oils work together. And just to put a little plug in for Allie, she has a class that I took to educate myself about basic crystal healing. And I learned a ton of that in there. And that's just an introduction to what she gave you. Um, so thanks for Allie, I'm glad to be teaming up with you today. So my name is Rebecca. I talked to you guys just for a minute before. I just wanna tell you a little bit who I am. I'm an essential oil user, just like you. I i am a mom of six children. It's kind of funny that I have a kid going into college this year and I'm still changing diapers on my two-year-old. Next week we're potty training. Um, and I love using roller bottles. When I started essential oils uh, more commonly about six years ago, I quickly realized that was definitely my preferred way of sharing and using for many reasons. Uh, I'll go into those too. And surprise, I love them so much, I ended up becoming a small business owner of an essential oil company. <laughs> it started when my sister said, hey, can you make me some vinyl labels for my roller bottles? And I said, sure. And then from there, it took off. And here we are. Um, my kind of approach to life and oils and to my business is three words, simple, essential, and beautiful. I want things that are simple and not complicated. I'm going to focus on the essential things and try to filter out the things that don't matter. And I really love things that are beautiful. I think aesthetic value is really high and those things can make me feel good just by looking at them and they bring me a lot of joy. So when I was working on Silver Orange Boutique and figuring out what I wanted to offer, they had to fit those criteria. Nothing complicated, nothing frou-frou, and it has to be pretty because honestly, I had enough amber brown roller bottles and blue cobalt to last me a lifetime. Didn't need any more. <laughs> so simple, however, I just want to point out, doesn't really mean ignorant. So, you know, that's kind of a word that sometimes will go together and they shouldn't because you can have fine beauty in the simplicity of things. But when you're enjoying them, you really need to know what you're talking about when you have science involved. So education is really important. And when I started using crystals more, I realized that I didn't know a whole lot about them and I wanted to offer value and um, an expertise on that for my customers. So I started, started searching for um, information on them. And what happened <laughs> is I spent maybe a year, maybe even more looking on the internet, um, cruising websites, um, Amazon, lots of oily, websites and small businesses looking for resources that talked about using crystals and oils safely together. And doggone it, they're really hard to find. You can find anything on the internet that'll tell you just to do about anything. But I would occasionally come across a book which I would eagerly order and I would get it and there might be one or two sentences or one paragraph on using crystals and oils together. And then the rest of the book was about crystals or the rest of the book was about oils or it was called the book about oils and crystals but there was a chapter on each back and forth and it never addressed what I was looking for. Well, in the meantime, I had come across and met Allie at an oil event and she casually mentioned, oh, hey, I'm writing a book on oils and crystals. And I said, really, that's great. I would, I would love to read it when it comes out. Several months later, I saw she published it, ordered it right away and finally, finally got my hands on what I'd been searching for and probably what you guys have been looking for too. 
I mean, after hours of research and buying all these books that didn't deliver anything, I finally got the gem called the oily crystal. So when it arrived in the mail, I sat down, read the whole thing. It's not very long. It's pretty short. Um, and I, my, my, my um, emotional response went from exhilaration to dismay <laughs> very quickly, because as you can see on the left here, I had a crystal roller bottle set that I was selling. And then I read the oily crystal and I realized out of those 12 roller bottles, five of them were not safe to be using. And I thought, oh no, what? This is not good, right? And from the perspective of an oil user, I knew um, well, I can't continue to use those. And as a perspective of a small business owner, I thought, well, I can't continue to provide those or sell those. Like this, this is not good. And so all these emotions were swirling around with me. Like I was ecstatic to have the book and I was disappointed to find out that I wasn't offering a quality product. And then the financial impact of it set in of like, oh my gosh, I have all this inventory with all these stones that isn't there. What am I going to do? And kind of in my desperation, I reached out to Allie and I said, Allie, I love your book. I need your help. I need to make a product line that is safe. And I, I want you to help me if you're willing. And she said, Absolutely. And she dedicated a lot of her time and energy and resources in helping me develop a product line of crystal roller bottles that are safe, non-toxic, fit both of those criteria. Um, and what we ended up working on together and what my unveiling new product was a new set, which I think is actually far more beautiful than the first. But the best thing about is that they are all safe, non-toxic. They're all sourced from yep, reputable sources. Now I am an Amazon girl and I love to do my two day shipping prime even though I'm trying not to do that so much. But none of my stones are coming from Amazon. I'm only dealing with gemology, um, gem miners and companies who can provide valid sourcing um, and legitimate stones because you'd be <laughs> really surprised at some of the stuff you can find. I'm gonna go back to my by just to see that old setup in the corner, there's a really pretty one on the very top, it's turquoise. And that used to be like the roller that I was, I don't know, proud of. Like I had worked with a Native American Indian tribe in South Dakota and I was getting genuine turquoise from there. And I just thought like, this is the best. This is not how light, it's not dyed. It's not from Amazon, it's authentic turquoise, it's beautiful. And then I would come and find out that turquoise is on the no-no list. I said, oh dear, so that one had to go. But we came up with 12 beautiful stones. Um, the way I present them is they're each correlated to a birthstone of the year. So we have a January through December stone of the month to celebrate with. Red Jasper is for Christmassy time. It's December and we start over on the left with rose quartz. So we got rose quartz, amethyst, and this whole list, I won't read them off to you now, but they're all safe. Um, I can share more of them later if you want. So a lot of times people ask me, look, why roller bottles? I have five good reasons for that. First of all, it's just easy, safety. Safety with dilution. When I started um, oiling, my sister said, hey, drop, drop a drop of head drop orange on your head. And holy cow, did my scalp light up. I have sensitive skin and I need to dilute. So it, it's safety reasons for me and for my kids. Um, sensitive skin. Portability is another reason. It's easy to take my custom blends with me without having to take three, four bottles. Um, ease of use. Even my kids have their own sets. My daughters love picking out their pretty rollers and, and crystals and flowers, and they all have little custom sets in their room that they can use for sleep and tummy and wellness, and I feel comfortable with that, and it's easy for them. Um, they're economical. They're more cost effective when you're combining oils with carrier because we do know that we have lots of things that we want to spend our money on. Um, not just oils, although it is a lot of it. <laughs> and aesthetically beautiful, which I put that as number five, but honestly, it's probably my first reason. I just, I like things that are pretty that bring me joy when I look at them and they make me smile and they just kind of give me a mental lift, you know? I'd say that they make me happy before the oil even touches my skin. That's what the, the things do for me, the pretty rollers. So what goes in a roller bottle like this? Obviously you've got some crystals in there or botanicals or nothing, whatever you, you know, what you wanna start with your bottle. Um, but you're going to want to dilute your essential oils with a carrier oil. I'm not sure 
how familiar everybody is with those. So I just kind of have a list here of some common ones. You want to be aware of the shelf life on these once you open them. Some of them go rancid quicker than others. I'm going to just talk about a few of these. So jojoba oil is on there. Um, jojoba is kind of, it mimics the consistency of your own sebum in your skin. It's actually a wax. It's not even an oil. Most of these carrier oils come from a nut, a vegetable, or a seed. Jojoba is an exception. Um, rose hip. Rose hip has a high antioxidant content. It revitalizes your skin. It helps improve the, the texture. It helps with signs of aging, sun damage, scars, stretch marks. I have a beauty roller recipe I could share with you that has um, jojoba oil, rose hip, and evening primrose, along with some essential oils. And it's a super power, powerhouse combination for beauty. We've got argon oil on there. Argon can restore and repair your skin without clogging your pores. That's a really nice one. It helps fade scars, minerals that moisturize, soften, and protect your skin. Um, evening primrose helps ease acne and balance hormones. Um, this oil can be applied to promote elasticity, reduce inflammation, enhance the skin cellular structure, getting all kinds of benefits on top of your essential oils when you combine. And this is why there's, I mean, there's about 50 carrier oils you can honestly use. This list is some of the common ones that I'm asked about a lot. Fractionated coconut oil, as opposed to coconut oil, which would be solidified at room temperature. The difference between fractionated coconut oil and regular coconut oil is that fractionated coconut oil has had its long chains triglycerides removed. So it stays liquid at room temperature because you do not want a solid rollerball. <laughs> That's not gonna be easy to apply. Uh, let's see, grape seed. This oil is really light, but it's pretty powerful. What, it's not my personal preference because I feel like my roller bottles with um, grape seed oil seem to go rancid a little quicker. I really like to use the fractionated coconut oil or the jojoba with some of these additions to it. You can even put olive oil in, even the stuff that's in your kitchen. It's super nourishing and hydrates your skin. Uh, sesame oil is another one that lots of people like. I've never used sesame oil because my children have sesame allergies and I don't want anything around the house that I might grab and accidentally put on their skin, but it is pretty powerful. It has um, antibacterial qualities. So anyway, what you wanna do is just read up on some of these. You can find books about these. They're all over the internet, reliably, that talk about these oils um, and some of the benefits of putting them into your rollers. I'm gonna go on from this so we don't take too much time here. So um, Robert Tisseran is um, a world-renowned aroma, aromatherapist who talks about a lot about safety with oils. And this is the dilution rate that he recommends. Again, like most other things, you can find charts that are lower, maybe not lower, definitely would have more drops and more concentrated than this. I always suggest to start low. You can always add more drops of oil, essential oils to a roller bottle, but it's really hard to take it out. <laughs> so you just don't need it that much. They're very powerful. So don't feel like you need to start with, you know, 30 drops of essential oils in a roller bottle because you really don't need to. Although there are varying opinions on it and, you know, do what you feel comfortable with. I chose to refer to an expert on it and that's where I feel comfortable. But maybe for you, you know, your skin isn't as sensitive as mine and you can do something different. So again, a lot of this is trial and error and finding out what works for you. But just remember your oils are super powerful and they do go a long way. So these are some of the reasons I love using my rollers. So with these um, beautiful crystal rollers, I thought, how are we going to get oils into more people's lives? Which probably a lot of you guys are asking the same question. So instead of just having my own crystal rollers, I thought they'd be something great to share. So I want people to feel good and affirmed. Talked a little bit about that. So we have a Celebrate You card. And when you purchase a crystal roller bottle from me, it will come with one of these cards. They are going around the outside and it has a mum and a stone. So January is Rose Quartz. So if you wanted to use a roller bottle for a gift or an anniversary or an promotion, oily promotion, you can correlate to a month. I've done lots of birthday presents with these. 
and stick some cute washi tape on there and you're good to go. Another way to do that is if you're congratulating teams, if you're a team leader and you're wanting to do a rank up incentive or even for yourself, they have Swarovski crystal rollers for when you're going for diamond, right? And then gold, gold's inspiring. I have gold flakes in these bottles that have no additives. So if you decide you want to make a gold roller bottle, make sure you check the source of where your gold is. Lots of it comes with um, silver and different fillers in there. So you want to get 100% pure gold. Uh, see. So this is, this is something that I come up with because I wanted to develop something that were affirmative, that made women and men and kids feel good about themselves. But I was running into a problem that I was experiencing running into my life with sharing crystals with people is that a lot of people I felt in the faith community would kind of put their hands up and ooh, voodoo, ooh, ooh, ooh no, no, stay away, stay away. And I was viewing this very differently saying, this is part of God's creation. I'm not really sure what you're running away from. You know, um, We could go into a big, huge conversation about that. but. We have some faith-based affirmation crystal cards. These are made intentionally to help you remember the value that you hold being a child of God. They are decorated beautifully with original watercolor art. I'm very blessed in my life to have a sister who is a graphic design artist. So she has all these, I have 11 different designs for these cards. We had an original set of five that where you are beautiful, blessed, loved, strong, and worthy. And each of those has a coordinating scripture about that affirmation. And the flip side of the card has the stone and the attributes of the crystal. Then you can carry those stones with you, stick them in your pocket, put them up on a shelf. They're visual reminders, the card, stick it on a mirror. Um, you touch that and you remember. So that they're intentionally made that way. These were really well well received and loved, so we came out with the second set, and the six new ones are brave, chosen, enough known, redeemed, and renewed. So I love these affirmation cards. They're probably my favorite, one of my favorite products for sure. So with those affirmation cards, I ran into a friend who is a beautiful, skilled jewelry artisan, and I have one of these on right now. She makes these gorgeous minimalist bar necklaces with crystals. So we paired up together and came with five different gift sets based on those five different affirmation cards. And they are for you, again, it's, I'm trying to make things easy to share with people and to make them special. So you receive something special, it gives you a lift and you're sharing your love of oils with other people, which is what we all wanna be doing. So these are fun gift sets that come with a necklace, a roller bottle and the affirmation card. And they're all the same crystal. They, they all go together beautifully. So I continue to think outside the box and say, well, how else can we share? How else can we get, you know, oils into more homes and let more people see? So I did another pair up and I did this one with my sister. I mentioned who made those cards, who has a principal party shop called Boutique Betsy. It's on Etsy. And she came up with five different printable parties. And I have a coordinating roller bottle for each one as a favor. So if you have a unicorn birthday party, they can go home with a unicorn roller bottle, baby showers for girls and boys. We have a donut party, which is super fun because they have little glass sprinkles in the, in the bottles. And of course, the boho rainbow has dried botanicals, which everybody is just loving that boho. Oh, and I have some of those. Actually, <laughs> this, these rainbow earrings are that rainbow. Tanya, who is the the TJE Design Studio jeweler who does the necklaces actually made these for a special collaboration we had with that card. So just, I didn't, fun fact there as we're going here. So parties, we share them, they're favors, right? So if we're gonna share them at parties, why don't we keep sharing at big events too? So ta-da, here we have wedding favors. Now, this is the ultimate way to celebrate. I mean, you just gotta keep on sharing your love, plus they're original. They're unique. They're customized to whatever a bride may want. I've done a strawberry lemonade theme shower. Um, it was so beautiful. These rollers had the strawberry quartz and citrine, and they were pink and yellow. They look so pretty. Um, the re how I kind of came up with this idea is I had a customer who was constantly buying these botanical rollers I have and said, um, 
I use these at showers all the time when we do the left right game. So I pass three out and you guys know that game where it's like she left to go to the store, but she came right back and you pass each way. So I just, I mean, I'm a celebrator. I'm a party in our family. We have big parties. We celebrate everyone's birthday. We celebrate baptism birthday. We celebrate like everything. So <laughs> we do lots of theme parties, which is why my sister had all those theme parties um, developed. And we're thinking big and we're going into weddings now and they're just gorgeous. They're just so pretty on the tables. Um, if you notice some of those had botanicals. So as I was enjoying my crystals and I thought, well, what if we put some flowers in here? But I had learned my lesson with the crystals and the stones that were toxic. And I thought, oh, no, 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 no. I am not going to develop another product just to find out, lo and behold, something is wrong with it. And I, I don't know what it is. So again, I did a lot more research, research, research. And I had two big takeaways for doing a botanical infusion. And they were using organic botanicals only, which I would have done regardless. And the other thing is to use only completely dried ones. If you put a fresh flower into a roller bottle, it will mold. And then you're gonna have a yucky bottle of stuff you're not gonna wanna use, you're gonna dump out and it's pretty wasteful. So um, this is our deluxe collection of botanicals, just as pretty as the crystals. They don't have that frequency with them. So it's just a different way to enjoy roller bottles. So I got thinking about this infusion again. So what you can do is you put your oil in here, your carrier oil, and you can set them like on a windowsill for six weeks and those scents and infuse into your rollers. So I tried this at first and I'd say about half of my rollers after six, seven weeks had a scent to them, but nothing that was strong enough for me. So I always suggest um, adding essential oils to them. You don't have to, you can try to infuse, um, but they're not gonna be very strong. And they're more, for me at least, they're an aesthetically beautiful thing. And any of those extra properties that can infuse into them is a bonus. Can also do this with resin, right? Like what's, what's the most popular oil I think? Like, okay, lavender, but everybody has, everybody loves Frank, right? Frankincense is heavenly, divine smelling. If you put resin of frankincense into a bottle and add carrier oil to it, you do not need essential oil in there. It is heavy. It is aromatic. I love it. I love my frankincense roller. Now, I probably should throw some, maybe some clear quartz in there with it to add some frequency into that. That, that might be an idea. I haven't tried that yet, but I love these together. This is a gold frankincense and myrrh. The gold is just for looks. It is not anything to it. But they're really nice as Christmas time gifts because it's gold frankincense and myrrh, right? But they're not Christmassy and you don't have to use them at Christmas. You use them all the time because they're gorgeous. Tanya, again, my jeweler friend, has this brace or this um, necklace down at the bottom. You can see it. That's actually the molecular structure of frankincense. So we did a promotion and teamed up before Christmas to offer that as a gift set. And wow, <laughs> that, that was pretty popular. I love that necklace, especially all my sciencey friends and my one self-professed science geek. She's a, a lab rat, works in the laboratory, was amazed and loved that. And that's become one of her favorites. I love it too. So um, with all these beautiful tall slim bottles, I realized I needed a better way to store and display them because they tend to tip over a little more easily than a more of one of the traditional squat 10 ml ones that maybe you usually use. So a customized a, um, acrylic stand holder that holds all 12. It also fits a lip gloss and a mascara tube perfectly as well. So this is a nice way to display and to hold them. In the middle picture, you can actually see another block, which is um, kind of shows an example of something near and dear to my heart, which is fair trade and helping victims around the world of sexual trafficking, human trafficking. Um, this block here is actually a fair trade hand carved soap stone from artisans in Kenya. It's very heavy duty, but it feels super soft. Softness comes from the mineral talc, which Allie mentioned earlier. Talc is said to have a soothing, balancing effect while creating a calm, positive energy. Like, can you think of 25 places in your home you might want to set one of those? I can. I have six kids. <laughs> so there's so many places to use these. 
Um, so anyway, these are the two options I have for displaying. But leading back to the oily crystal, if you get Allie's book, or I should say when you get it, because I can't imagine everybody not wanting to grab one of those, um, she has a list in the back of her book of kind of oily crystal recipes and has suggestions for crystals and oil combinations that work well together. With her permission, I have a little mini starter set. These are small 5 ml bottles and they are her crystals that go into the recipes for her exhale, glow, and cha-ching roller bottles. I would bet you can probably guess what some of those things are meant to do. So to wrap things up here, this is the crystal roller bottle collection that it came away with that I love to offer and show people. It has, it's beautifully packaged in a pretty box and it has all the little extras you might need, some pipettes and a funnel and an EO card or key to put your roller balls on. There's also a card that goes in there with information on each stone, talks about its properties and some suggested oil pairings. Um, you also get a little bonus roller with this one, a little mukite jasper you only get with this set. But my very favorite thing of all about it is that it is oily crystal approved. So Allie is gonna offer up a special, uh, special offer for you guys today and here is mine. So for thank you for attending this class. I'm gonna have a 10% off my entire site, which is www.silverorangeboutique.com. You're gonna use the code oilycrystal10. And you also are going to get a free Carnelian roller bottle with all your orders. Um, Carnelian, because that's our celebration stone for the month of July. And here we are in July. Can't believe it, July already. So the way my website is set up, I cannot offer a free product and a discount at the same time, but I wanna give that to you. So you can use the coupon code to get 10% off. And if you just write Carnelian in the comments section when you're checking out, I will manually put that in your order as a special thank you. Um, and that's what I have to share with you today. I am just very grateful to have this partnership with Allie. She has been so generous um, and, and always willing to share, to teach. I, I've learned so much from her book. I learned so much just from chatting with her. I see her willing to give of her time so many times to people. And um, I think you guys are just in a great place today to be able to learn directly from her. I'd encourage you to take a class or to get in connection. I know she offers even like Zoom classes to groups. Um, it's one of her services that I think you can purchase, but you can always ask her about that stuff. But anyway, thank you for listening to my um, presentation about this. I am just very passionate about sharing. Um, I have not seen anybody else who consistently has safe roller bottles. So that's just something that I want to make sure I offer. And I want you to rest assured that any crystal you're going to get is going to be a safe one from Silver Orange Boutique. So I will check questions in the chat while I give this back to Allie, and I'm sure that there are some things in there for her to address with you. So let's see if I can get out of here now. Stop share. Yes, and if you can click on participants and then put the host back to me, then I can finish up. Because I'm gonna give you all some oils to go with um, some crystals. And All right, you're good. Got it. And um, what I'm gonna share is not in the Oily Crystal book. Okay, so you're gonna wanna take notes, but again, you're gonna get the recording to this. So don't feel like you gotta take screenshots and take a whole bunch of notes. You're going, you're going to get this. All right, so um, in the Oily Crystal book, I go through the energy chakras. Um, because we have specific energy areas in our body that literally feed good energy or depletion energy to all of our organs and our endocrine system and, and even emotionally. So that's how I've organized the Oily Crystal book. And so I want to give you some Young Living Blends because in the Oily Crystal book, I can't mention Young Living Blends without paying them a trademark licensing fee. Okay. So as an attorney, I, I know. I know enough about trademark law to be dangerous. So 
Um, so you're only going to see the single oils in the oily crystal book. Here, I'm giving you blends. And what I love to blend with specific crystals. And there's more crystals in the oily crystal book. So I'm going to give you like one crystal for an energy center and then give you some blends. But here's what I want you to know. And I've actually expanded this, but I'm going to give you three oils that help with every energy center on the body. Are you ready? Divana, lavender, and the Harmony blend. But I've even expanded beyond that, which I will tell you a little bit about um, as, I, as I get to the end, there's more. But these work on every single energy center and clear quartz is a crystal that works on the whole body. So you could literally make a blend with clear quartz and Harmony or clear quartz with lavender and Divana. And I call it the all is well blend because it does it all. It does it all. So that's a little tip right there. But when we're dealing with the root chakra, you know, the, the root chakra, this is, this is our sense of security and belonging in the world. Um, it's where fear roots. And if we don't deal with fear in the root chakra, it'll snake its way up the chakra system and impact every area of your life. Um, so the root chakra is where you feel grounded and calm and confident. And red jasper is a great crystal that is in uh, Rebecca's set. And uh, on the screen, you see some blends that blend beautifully with red jasper, like Exodus 2, grounding, release, sacred mountain, one of my favorites, the new roots blend that just came out a couple of weeks ago, um, the Sarah blend and, and valor. Because valor is an oil that actually moves you out of fear, gives you courage and confidence and self-esteem. So um, my philosophy with blends is you don't mix any other oil with them because they are blended for a frequency. Gary knew what he was doing. So you're not going to take Sacred Mountain and blend it with valor. Uh, -uh. Because now all of a sudden you just have an oil that smells. You don't know what the frequency is. So you're going to pick one. But if you're dealing with a single oil, as I list in the oily crystal book, you, you can blend. You can absolutely blend. You could take black spruce and lavender and divana and put those all together and create your own unique blend. And then uh, in, in the oily crystal book, I give you an affirmation that goes with each chakra energy system so that you're literally using your crystal roller bottle you can recite an affirmation, you can meditate, you can pray, you can journal, you can do all sorts of different things. All right, let's go to the sacral chakra. This is right below your belly button and this is your creative center. So you can either create a human being or you can create a business. <laughs> it's, it's where you create and it's where your inspiration comes from. And carnelian is a great crystal. And what you wanna do is you wanna use oils that are gonna get things moving, okay? Get creative, like, let's go, 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 go. What are your ideas? Let's, let's fire them up and let's just go. So on the screen are my favorite uh, blends for the sacral chakra. Um, I love the abundance oil. Um, Christmas spirit is a great one. Inner child, I mean, helps you connect with your inner creativity because kids are creative, right? Inner child and carnelian together, <laughs> look out look out. And, and what you want to do is you can topically apply on the area of the chakra, or you can just rub this crystal roller bottle all over your body. It doesn't matter where you apply it. Um, but the goal is to always smell it as well as topical application. So um, let's go to the solar plexus. This is your energy center. This is your power center. This is where self-esteem sits in your body. And if things literally make you sick to your stomach, because this is where the stomach is, it's going to impact your self-esteem. So as you can see, there's a lot of blends <laughs> because this is a hot topic for a lot of people. And citrine is your crystal that you want to use. So, I mean, there are, these are some of my favorite blends. I mean, acceptance helps you Stop pushing back against things that are happening because you're just literally going to make yourself sick 
trying to jam a square peg into a round hole, acceptance is a great oil. Um, highest potential releases your limiting beliefs because this is your self-esteem center. It's where you self-sabotage. And so creating an oily crystal blend to topically apply over your stomach and anywhere else on your body, pick one of these blends. There's other crystals that are listed in the oily crystal book, but citrine is a great one to use. And you're just, you're going to feel strong and brave and go through the world with with the thought that, you know, all is well, all is really well. Doesn't matter what's collapsing out here in the world because our solar plexus directly relates to the thoughts in our head. And if your thoughts are running amok and going all negative on you, you got to work on your solar plexus. And you actually really need to start at your root chakra because it's usually based in fear and it starts snaking up the body. That's its own class on its own. <laughs> All right, let's go to the heart chakra. This is where your emotions are stored. This is where joy and unconditional love, as well as unforgiveness and anger and all sorts of negative emotions. So you, get, you can choose, what do I wanna have in my heart? Do I want love? Do I want anger? So rose quartz is a beautiful crystal that is very nurturing to the heart chakra. And, you know, the, the blends that I love are joy. That's one of my favorites. And one heart it is also a really good blend. And when, when you're topically applying your oily crystal heart blend over your heart, it, it's really creating an energy of loving all beings, including yourself. Okay. And you're doing it with unconditional compassion. Because I don't know about, about you, but I find that women, nobody is harder on us than we are. And I, I can attest to that. Nobody is harder on Allie than Allie. This is where you work on your heart chakra to show yourself some compassion. And that blend is really going to help with, with some rose quartz in it. All right, let's go to your throat chakra. So this is where you authentically communicate and you know release the need to hide out in fear of what others think. I mean, I think we all get to an age where we're like, I don't care what people think. <laughs> if they like it, great. And if they don't, well, okay, they're just not there yet. But if you're not at that point, this is where you work on your throat chakra so that you are literally speaking what is true for you. And it's really coming from a very divine perspective. It's not coming from the ego. The ego is angry and critical and judgmental and screaming at everybody on social media, whereas truth is very compassionate, very compassionate, and it can be heard. Okay, so blue lace agate is one of my favorite throat chakra crystals. And then, you know, we have a blend called One Voice. Oh my gosh, One Voice with blue lace agate in a roller bottle. Oh, that's amazing roll it on your throat. Anytime you are going to communicate in words or communicate in writing. Okay. If you are on social media and you're in a mood, <laughs> I highly suggest you take your throat crystal roller bottle, you roll it on your throat first, put a little in your hand, smell it, heck, smear it all over your face and be super happy and be in a really good space before you communicate. So let's go to the next one. Let's go to your third eye chakra. This is your clear thinking, your ability to envision your life, like see that path ahead that you want for yourself, as well as intuition. I was just talking to somebody about this today. Our intuition is never wrong, never, ever wrong. Where we make decisions that go haywire, that's when we're listening to our ego. The ego has its place that intuition is always right. May not make sense, but it's always, always right. So if you want clearer thinking, like real kind of divine guidance, like show me the way, which way do I need to go on this decision I need to make? Amethyst, and then pick one of those blends. My personal favorite is the transformation oil. That oil will literally rock your world, no pun intended. It will dramatically and radically change your life for the better. It is phenomenal. If you need to transform how you are thinking about something, 
transformation and amethyst la oh my gosh it's amazing but it'll really create an energy of being receptive and knowing and not making decisions out of fear and then last but not least your crown chakra right smack on the top of your head this is where you manifest this is where you connect and you raising your vibration is what is needed so I teach classes where I explain why we have to ground our energy as well as raise our vibration at the same time. So this is a great uh, crystal roller volatile to create with clear quartz, which is a very high vibrational crystal, and then pick one of those blends. I mean, a oh, higher unity or the new blend wings. Holy moly. <laughs> that you will be so high vibrational that you can look at problems from a higher perspective because you cannot solve a problem from the same energy that created it. You got to take yourself up like you're in an airplane, 35,000 feet, and you got to look at it and say, oh, that's what's going on. Now I know what I need to do. Clear quartz, one of those blends, or blend some of the singles that are in the Oily Crystal book and literally put it on the top of your head. Um, before I open this presentation tonight, I'm dripping oils on the top of my head. That's one of my favorite places to put oils because I always want to be very tapped in, very clear in how I'm communicating and very connected. All right. Now, okay, let me get to some good stuff. I have an oily crystal masterclass that is in creation. I was really hoping it was going to be done by now, but guys, I can't help myself. I am literally dumping everything that I know into this. And it's kind of a runaway train at this point. It's, I don't even know how big the workbook is going to be. I don't even know how many classes this is going to be. At some point, Allie, you got to stop. You got to stop and just get, put it out there. My goal is this fall. It's going to be ready. And anybody who has ever attended any Oily Crystal class, I'm going to send you an email. And if you want to unsubscribe and you're like, Allie, I'm not interested in this, you just hit unsubscribe and, it, and it's totally not going to hurt my feelings. You know, I'll even let you know about crystal classes. This is literally going to be an email list where you might get an email twice a year if you're lucky. <laughs> but I will let you know about this because you're here. In the Oily Crystal Masterclass, this is a deep dive into blending as well as pairing using oils and crystals separately. Okay, I'm going to go into enhanced frequency techniques, master techniques for how to use an oily crystal blend or pair, um, advanced energy centers. I'm going to go really deep on, on layering energies. I'm going to get deep into just like really the energetic descriptions of oils and crystals. You know, there's a lot of information about oils, what they do physically and emotionally for the body how I talk about them and how I talk about them to my oil team, I talk energetics. It's very, very deep. And so you're going to get that in here and, and get a real deep understanding of why this is a beneficial wellness practice to learn more about. So it's going to have a workbook and everything. It's like, ah, I'm so excited about it. Okay. So just stay tuned. I got to get her done. I got to get her done. I know I got to get her done. I want to launch her sometime like end of September, beginning of October, but I kind of got to give everybody a month's notice. So I'll get her done. I'll get her done. I just will. I know I will. Okay. All right. And then if you're really interested in crystals, I teach full day crystal classes and even the ones that are online, you will be shocked at how fast the day goes. It's very interactive. I give lots of breaks. We're doing stuff back and forth. And you'll get to the end of an eight hour class and say, oh my gosh, I can't believe that was eight hours. Wow. Wow. Um, everybody gets an extensive workbook. You get crystals. Um, if you really want to learn how crystals work, it, it will dramatically change how you use your essential oils. That's what I love about this. Um, and I am teaching pretty much everybody that I teach are young living people. This is a big thing when people really understand how oils and crystals work together. It's going to radically change how you use your oils. So it's very exciting. I teach a basic class that's eight hours. 
I teach an animal class that is eight hours and I teach an advanced class that's 18 hours and I offer three different certifications. If it's something that you think could be a part of your business. All right, here is my discount. Use coupon oily crystal, all one word, oily crystal for a 10% discount. You can even get it if you want the oily pet book, okay? 10% discount. And everybody, I, when I email you the link um, to watch this recording, I'm also going to send you a link to a class I did about the amethyst roller bottle that Young Living gave to us a couple of months ago. I give you some very, very, very specific information on blends and recipes. So I'm going to send that to you because if you have that roller bottle and you're wondering, what do I do with it? I'll help you. Or you can get the amethyst roller bottle from Rebecca, and it's going to have tons of recipes, very precise to amethyst and the energy of amethyst. So everybody's going to get that, whether you buy a book or not, y'all are going to get that. All right. Okay. That's all I got. So I'm going to go ahead and end the recording and then we'll take some questions live, but Rebecca, do you have any last thing to say before I end the recording? Um, I just wanted to encourage everybody to grab those books with the discount code. They're invaluable and just to get a sale on them is super great. Allie is so knowledgeable and those books are written for everybody to understand. I don't know a lot about crystalline structures and science behind the crystals when I started reading it, but when I got done, I sure did. So, <laughs> so don't delay. I just go for it. <laughs> It's a good resource to have. Yes, and thank you. And I wrote the book so that you can literally teach a class from them. That's the nice thing. You can literally read and teach a class from them. Yeah, for sure. So, okay, so I'm gonna end the recording and then if anybody has any questions, we're gonna answer them. So for everybody who is watching the recording, thank you for watching.